Yo, this is a Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me. And this story is an update on the British couple that was held in Pakistan for the 2 million importation of heroin. They was caught with 25 kilos and it was hidden in female clothes. At first, people was thinking, why is it so obvious? like why didn't they even try to hide it well since this story came out i've spoken to members of the family they want to remain anonymous for obvious reasons but they did fill me in on a few details and they also provided me with a, an up-to-date picture you will not find this picture in any of the papers and it is from pakistan what is in custody currently at the moment one or two things they told me i don't want to repeat just yet just in case it affects his case because it's a very serious case because in pakistan for drug importation you face the death penalty 300 people were killed last year in pakistan for similar offenses mohammed ayaz and ikra hussein were arrested in pakistan the couple from huddersfield were accused of trying to smuggle two million pounds worth of class a drugs they were arrested trying to board a flight the other thing to dubai and then to england another thing that i found out was that they was on a private jet this wasn't just a commercial flight and another aspect to it is people that get on private jets don't get as much uh, don't get searched as much because people don't like to annoy richer people so if you're traveling in that sort of mode you won't get searched your luggage won't as much as that so that maybe they only got searched because they'd been flagged i was looking into britain and pakistan's involvement in preventing the drug importations places like afghanistan and pakistan dominate the production of opium plants which is what heroin is made from the uk taxpayer gives millions of pounds to pakistan's counter narcotics force to target and arrest drug traffickers at least five of them people have been sentenced to death the revelation raised questions about the uk's commitment to opposing the death penalty this article is from the guardian and it is from 2016 i believe they said the human rights were affected because we was basically funding a government that puts people to death for drug importation the uk made a donation of 5.6 million pounds to pakistan's anti-narcotics through a five-year un office drug and crime project despite the fact that the pakistani government insisted donors did not demand that there was linked to human rights considerations so they don't have to change the way they treat people in order to be able to get this money from the british government so in actual fact the british government was giving money to a country that is breached human rights in the regard to the human rights watch the project paid for the acquisition of surveillance vehicles, drug testing kits and the construction of border control posts. Places where drug carriers were frequently arrested according to human rights groups. It was assessed according to key performance indicators, notably the number of arrests, the successful prosecution carried out by the ANF and human rights groups claim the targets encourage capital convictions because drug seizures of more than a kilogram are punishable by death and they've got 25. Last year, Pakistan Pakistan executed more than 300 people, overtaking Saudi Arabia to become the world's most prolific executing state. In the annual report filed last year, the ANF boasted that it was achieving the sort of results demanded by the United Nations. It noted it had a successful prosecution rate of 89%. It is a scandal that our government, the, the, the go on to say, is using public money to give people who breach human rights their ability to kill people for importing drugs. The UK funding of the United nations projects began when pakistan had a vote on the death penalty we've put a lot of money into detecting drug uh, smugglers at the borders and stuff like that so there's a lot of money being put by taxpayers money into pakistan to try and counteract it but at the same time the demand for heroin and other sorts of drugs has only gone up so i'm not sure how effective this money is in actually trying to prevent it but we're definitely gonna keep you updated on what's going on in this case as it's so interesting and also could affect a lot of people that are attending or considering to import drugs into this country because at the end of the day that the risks are high you do have big rewards but you also have you can lose a lot so i really want to hear what people have to say on this story i always speak to the families anyone who have covered on the news and i'm always able to be contacted so feel free to contact me anytime via the website social media or send it to the email and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you peace